You know that you need to use the Onking deck, but how do you use it with lectures? How do you know which cards to unspend? When do you actually study those cards, before the lecture or after the lecture? These are questions that I've been getting kind of a ton over the past couple weeks, because um, I've been talking to a bunch of first year medical students who are kind of overwhelmed with all the resources and how to use them. So I thought I'd make this video to show how I personally use the Onking alongside lectures. Let's get into it. One thing I just want to say quickly is this is my personal preference on how to study. I know a bunch of other classmates who study this way, but I know also a bunch of other classmates that do very well and they don't use Anki at all. So take everything I say and everything everyone else tells you on like how to study with a grain of salt. Um, you'll kind of figure it out along the way. And that's kind of what the first year of medical school is for, just figuring out how you study and what works for you. But if you want to use the way I study, let's get into it. So I'm gonna split this video into three sections. One is identify what you'll be learning during the week at your school. So that could be lectures, anatomy, labs, whatever. Step two is find that content in the Onking. And you're gonna find that content in the Onking through the third party resources. And this might be Boards and Beyond, Pathoma, uh, Osmosis, Sketchy. Then step three, you're gonna study and learn that content. And that's it. Also, I think you should do this revision of this material or your first pass of this material the day before you actually are learning that content in school. That way, overnight, the information settles into your brain and you attend lecture with a good base of knowledge that can be built on. Okay, so the first step, the first thing you wanna do is what lectures do you have coming up that week? What content are you gonna be learning that week? And then the only thing I do is I write those content down or whatever things I need to learn in this kind of section at the top. So Monday, for example, I had a one mandatory orientation. Tuesday, I had all these lectures. Just write all those down so you know what you're getting into the next week, okay? So that's step one, that's pretty easy. Now step two, and this is kind of the whole point of this video, is you're gonna identify the content that's most relevant to those lectures or to those labs in the Onking. So how do you find them in the Onking? How do you know which lec cards to look for in the Onking? Well, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna look at that lecture. So take it one day at a time. So let's take Tuesday, for example. So Tuesday, I have two anatomy lectures and I have a lecture on calcium phosphate homeostasis. So I want to identify in the Onking these two things. Now, unfortunately, that there, the anatomy is kind of not that much in the Onking. But what I have linked, and I'll link below, is two amazing anatomy decks, which I kind of use for understanding anatomy before my anatomy practical exams. But I don't look at these anatomy decks kind of during the block before my exam, and I don't review them after my block. The only thing I review is on a 100 anatomy concepts deck, which I'll link below, and also the Michigan anatomy deck for my exams, which I'll link below. So that means the only lecture I need to be worried about is this calcium phosphate homeostasis lecture. So you might have a lecture on pathology or connective tissue or something like that. But what you wanna do is you wanna go to that lecture, look at that lecture and find some terms Okay, so we know what lectures we have next week, and we know which content we need to learn. Now we need to find that content in the Onking. Sometimes, this is option one. So option one for finding it in the Onking, sometimes, if you're lucky, there's just gonna be this video on one of these third-party resources. So if you have a video, like say, if you need to learn about cell death, and one of your lectures on cell death, bam, easy. Just go to Pathoma, watch the video, then you go to browse. Let's make this a little bit bigger. You go to browse, on King, step one on the side. And if you followed my video, all these things should be tagged nicely. You go to Pathoma, cell death, easy. Then you just hit Command A, Command J, unsuspend these cards, and remember, before you start studying these cards on Anki, go through them in the browse section and make sure you understand all these little things. Why is the answer correct? Could you teach it to a friend if you needed to? Because again, understanding is so much more important than memorizing. So now this is, that's the easy way. You find a third party resource and my favorite third party resources are Pathoma, Boards and Beyond, Sketchy Medical, and Osmosis on YouTube, okay? So you, you're lucky if you find it this way. This is the easy way. You've gone and you found the lecture. And what I like to do 
is notice how I have the calcium phosphate is on Tuesday, right? But the cards that I found related to that were actually before they're here. So I'm looking at Costanza endocrinology, I'm looking at birds and beyond signaling pathway. And that's because I want to learn the cards and get a basic understanding of the content before I actually attend lecture. Because this way, when I actually go to lecture, I'll have a much better basic understanding of what's going on. And then in lecture, more of the stuff will go into my head. Option number two, you're gonna have to dive a little bit deeper here. This is when the lecture title doesn't match up nicely with a third party video. This is when it's something like calcium homeostasis and your lecture isn't calcium homeostasis. So what you have to do, and this is where we're gonna dig a little bit deeper. You're gonna go to Anki with your nice Anking and you're gonna go to browse. And in the browse, you see the top thing right here. What you wanna go in this browse section is you wanna search whatever's happening. So for example, I might search, cause what was I trying to learn about? Phosphate. Let's do, let's be more specific. Cause you've got over 30,000 calls here. Hyperphosphatemia. And okay, maybe something like this will come up. I'll say, no, that's not really that relevant. This seems relevant. This card seems like what I was learning. What was in my lecture again, Get, just skim the lecture quickly so you, have, so you have a kind of idea what's going on and then browse it. And here's how you work backwards. Here's how you find the third party resource from the On King. So you've searched it, you said, this card looks pretty good. Scroll all the way to the bottom, not of the extra stuff, but this bottom part where it says tags here, where it says tags here. You're gonna see all these funky words. Look at those words and you'll see, oh, this says Borns and Beyond, endocrinology, other parathyroid glands. This is a video. This is a Boards and Beyond video. So I might say, okay, is that relevant? Let's see, I'm gonna go to Boards and Beyond up here. I'm going to go to, it was in eight, endocrinology. Make sure you write it down, because I'm already forgetting. It was other, and it was parathyroid gland. Oh, this kind of looks like the stuff we were learning. This kind of looks relevant. So then you can say, I found the video. And now you just watch this video, unsuspend these cards, study these cards, and then you have the relevant content. And that's it. That's the power of the On King. Pretty much every good resource, and this is again, very opinionated, but I think the best resources are the ones in the On King. So you have Boards and Beyond, Costanza, First Aid, Osmosis, Pathoma, Physio, Pixarize, all these kind of stuff. And even if those things, even if you can't find it in a third party resource, they're even split up into like blocks here. So you have cardio, dermatology, endocrine, everything that you could need, okay? So just to hammer this in, let's go through the first week of my second year of medical school. So as you can see here, I have my plan, right? This is my plan. First week of MS2, yay. Um, but you can see Monday, there's not really that much stuff. Tuesday, it starts to come in. Thursday, it starts to come in. And Friday, it starts to come in. So I'm planning, all the stuff I'm reviewing on the On King the day before I'm getting that lecture material, okay? So for example, we talked about this, but calcium phosphate homeostasis, I found a nice video on Boards and Beyond. I found a nice two chapters in this BRS physiology book, which is by Costanza, ignore that misspelling. And so what I did is I learned that content and then watched those videos and then tested myself on those Anki cards. So I would just go to browse, Boards and Beyond, Endocrinology, bam. And that's it. So I just wanted to add kind of one closing statement here as I was editing this video. I started figuring out this planning the week method like halfway through my first year of medical school. Um, and I think it made my grades better, but I know for a fact it made my stress level better. Just knowing what you're gonna study every day makes every day more approachable and kind of just easy to get started. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching and good luck.